Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining today live uh, EMEA session of Coronet. I'm Max Vertoleski, co-founder and CEO of SpaceT. And today, I would love to guide you through the return to a workplace that is flexible, safe, and interactive for your employees, thanks to the workplace technologies. First of all, I would like to review what has actually happened uh, this year. Most of us have experienced a significant drop in our workplaces, in our offices, due to the governmental restrictions and caused by the global pandemic. As you can see on the aggregated data of, uh, of our customers that has been aggregated over past 12 months, the drop during the spring of 2020 is actually similar to what has happened every year during the Christmas time. What is different is the slow recovery that is taken step by step as the uh, restrictions are being lifted. Even the summer uh, dent uh, in July and August is visible here when people are going on holidays. And already, thanks to the technology, autumn is se seeming to recover step by step. So what can we do to get our employees and people safely back to work with power of technology? The biggest concern for many people right now is using the public transportation. Most of you have seen many congested cities because people are opting to use the uh, car to commute to work for meetings or other activities when they cannot perform it at home. And it's important to say that the demand for parking lots within the corporate offices has significantly increased and people need the security and certainty of making sure that they could reserve and uh, uh, park in their space. Second concern is the spread of the virus among the colleagues. And probably some of you have had accidents in your companies. Luckily, others haven't. And, but there is still a need to monitor in real time the social distancing and contact tracing measures that can then be submitted to, to the governmental uh, authorities. And this can be detected through combinations of uh, occupancy sensors, monitoring the workplace, as well as the booking uh, system and check-in system that can be used for uh, contact tracing. This last but not least point is the air quality and the spread of uh, the virus and pathogens uh, through our HVAC systems. It's very hard to uh, get uh, typically access to the BMS system from the landlord or for the building owner. They provide it you know, as some sort of uh, report, historical. But what you actually need is access to the data real time to see if the CO2 level is uh, good and the air is being highly ventilated if the temperature is uh, at good levels and humidity is above certain levels in order to decrease the velocity of pathogens spreading across your workplace. And all of these use cases can be resolved thanks to a turnkey technology that we have developed, which is a combination of workplace sensors, an analytics platform, and a mobile and tablet application that allows users to interact and book uh, their uh, spaces. And now I would love to move to a tech demo and share my screen with you. First, we would like to start uh, from the perspective of an employee. So employee would like to log in into uh, the system into their specific uh, office space, which I'm doing for my own. So uh, hopefully you won't see the password <laughs> right now. And uh, uh, what will happen that I will see our uh, office at uh, Luxembourg Plaza in Prague. And 
I'm able to perform multiple actions, such as book a meeting room, create an ad hoc meeting point, or book a workstation, for example, for a particular period. But it's kind of a hurdle when you're most of the time on the home office and it has shifted you know, from, from uh, having a fixed assigned seat to more flexible space. So if you need to have a system that allows you to book multiple days within a minute. So let's say I'm planning to be in the office on Wednesday, Thursday, let's say this week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week. And I can actually confirm those dates and look on the map for the availability of the different spaces. So you can see a certain zones are quite occupied, but I would like to actually uh, book a particular workstation, number 32, and I can book it in one go with a single uh, uh, booking arrangement. What is also important for the purposes of contact tracing is to make sure that people are actually checking in and as you can see today, I'm checked in for the uh, workstation number 18. And then when the time comes, I will be able to check in to my workstation where I will attend uh, to work from office. Now let's look at another scenario, parking, which is quite a demanding one. There is not many parking spaces in our office. So let me try. There is no availability today. And let me try to see if I can book it for some other date, let's say uh, Friday. And I can see that there is a space available, number 67, which is great. And I will book it uh, right now. You can see the successful booking. And as well, I need to actually check in physically or with, through the combination of our sensors to see that the space is actually being occupied. Now I would like to demonstrate to you the map view uh, of our office where you can actually see the availability and bookings of the different spaces. Uh, for example, my own workstation that I have booked uh, till today, you can see that it is uh, being you know, uh, booked uh, and someone else is actually using it while I'm in uh, here. And you can see the environmental parameters of such a space. As well as I can go, for example, to a particular uh, meeting room and, and see uh, the different uh, uh, parameters and different people who have been occupying and booking uh, this meeting room at the time. And of course, you can uh, uh, switch to, to, to different uh, uh, locations. You can look at the availability and reserve it ad hoc from the system as well. Now, I would like to demonstrate uh, and show you uh, the web dashboard where, first of all, uh, in our office, as you, you have seen the, uh, the bookings, I will log in into the system and actually showcase uh, that uh, the same booking spot that was uh, seen is actually available. I can see more information as a workplace manager on the current occupancy levels overall. I can look at it from the perspective of sensors, when was the last uh, uh, event submitted? And I can you know, guide through and see when the space is available for other bookings. Uh, in a similar manner, this can be done for, for other workstations. I can really you know, uh, uh, search through, through it. I can filter. I can put a floor plan of uh, my organization that can be updated, uh, different types of markers. I can choose a specific you know, search, but we will not go through this uh, right now. And we will show an example of our customer as well as a partner, Vodafone, where they have deployed this technology across multiple locations. And one of the great example is the parking uh, uh, occupancy that you can see here, where almost half of the parking lots as we speak now is being occupied. And what we can do, we can pinpoint on a particular parking lot that is being in use, and we can see when the uh, uh, parking information was last uh, sent. You can see that if it is in use, what is the availability um, and other uh, parameters. Also, you're able to see the analytics view uh, of the system and track in a dashboard-like manner the workplaces, meeting rooms, and parking lots occupancy compared to in a current period and in the previous period, as well as look at the environmental index and data across levels of CO2, temperature, humidity. 
Now we will go to into a more detailed view of the occupancy analytics, where we can see the workstations occupancy levels, and we can actually filter through and decide what uh, period of time we would like to uh, view. So this, let's say, is going to be this week, which is, uh, or let's say, last week, uh, we can do. And you can see the level of occupancy on that sp specific uh, specific uh, period uh, during during those work days. And you can actually see a heat map that is, uh, uh, that is listed here. You can look at the particular interested areas uh, or days when the occupancy was at a certain level or even uh, specific uh, work uh, hours uh, that are monitoring this occupancy. And you can compare the same area for the previous period uh, in time, which can be established, let's say, as a previous week. In a uh, similar manner, we can look uh, at, 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 the, at the parking lots, which is, uh, as you can see, the levels of occupancy are much, much higher. And uh, you can view it from the perspective of different uh, floors and compare and benchmark this data, as you can see here, that based on different floors, some, somewhere it's visitors parking, in other areas it is uh, permanent parking for uh, uh, company fleet cars. You can actually uh, see all of this data available here and group them based on your own preference. Last but not least, uh, what I would like to demonstrate is the environmental analytics that can be shown uh, specifically on, you know, on the level of meter rooms. And as you can, uh, you can see here, uh, the data uh, uh, coming in, as more people are starting to attend the offices, actually, you know, the air quality is falling you know, a little bit uh, compared to when there is more you know, fresh air. And this can probably be caused by, for example, uh, levels uh, of, of, of CO2, where you are able to see the, uh, uh, the levels of particular areas. And you can, for example, compare this across uh, different meter rooms and benchmark what is actually happening uh, across those meter rooms. And you can see, for example, a huge spike in, uh, in CO2 level to in a particular meter room uh, of 1,800 ppm. As well accredited professional, I can say anything about 800 ppm or 1,000 is actually harmful for your uh, health. Uh, and it's better not to use that meter room uh, for a partic particular time or just, you know, take a pause and get some you know, fresh air or even connect it to your BMS system in order to pump in more air. But what is most important is that all of this data you know, is, is available to you as a workplace manager in real time. Now I would like to move back uh, to, uh, to the view of the presentation. So hopefully you will be able to uh, see it now. Let me stop the screen sharing. Please, let's get back the slides. And uh, uh, to tell you that this is you know, uh, true, uh, I would like to uh, share with you some of the case studies that will be available for your review in the presentation that is shared. A few examples from uh, uh, customers such as Red Strat uh, in the US that have returned 25% of their workforce fully remotely thanks to our technology. Uh, examples uh, such as uh, cobblestone that improved their air quality and implemented social measurement uh, in, in Copenhagen and Denmark, likes of Vodafone that I demonstrated during the demo, as well as you know, likes of L'Oreal in uh, Germany that have fully transformed uh, the, the workplace thanks to the systems. And uh, you can view all these case studies afterwards, as well as contact me for the demo purposes and now I would like to use a moment to answer some of the questions, which I can see uh, the uh, question uh, being uh, being raised. Uh, what, which geography uh, are you getting your occupancy data from? So uh, currently we are present in uh, 20 countries. Most of this is across uh, uh, EMEA, so the European region, as well as US and uh, Canada. So most of the data is relevant for uh, EU, I would say. Okay, 
So if there is uh, no more questions, uh, you are really welcome to reach out uh, to me personally, either via email or phone, and we would be happy to provide you a trial and demo of our technology in person for your workplace, for your organization, and really looking forward uh, to talk to you. Thank you very much for, for the time and opportunity.